The Jams or Mod Comms came out in 1978. It was a make or break LP at the time. Nowadays it's considered a classic and often features many lists of the best records ever. So what makes it so good? Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Andy. And on this episode of Out the Box, we are going to be talking about all mod cons. Fun facts about all mod cons. It's the Jam's third album. According to Discogs, there's 76 versions of this. <laughs> it reached number six in the charts. And in 1978, Enemy said it was the second best LP of the year. Now, arguably, is it even their best LP? What do you reckon, Luke? Um, for me, no, it's not the best LP. Okay. Uh, my favourite jam LP is sound effects, but I think it was kind of the transition to the more mature sound of the albums that followed. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think it's certainly their best produced album up to that point. Yeah. Like, and you sort of felt like it was the first major release to that. Yeah, I, I get that, because I, I like In The City is one of my favourites, if, if not my favourite. I play this most often, but I think it's just because it's got a very sort of 60s sound. Mm. It's got a lot of youthful exuberance, as I call it, uh, on this. Whereas you can tell that's more mature. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what's your, your favourite song? Hey. Well, I my favourite song is Mr Clean. Okay. Um, I just particularly like the lyrical content of okay. it you know sort of being about uh, just some bloke who had chatted up Paul Weller's wife at the time and uh, it annoyed him enough that he went and wrote the whole song about it To sonically, I enjoy it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we. One of the questions we will talk about later is, is like the guitar, the sound. When you play Mr. Clean, it's great, isn't it? It's the palm muted thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You got any thoughts on that? Or yeah, uh, that sort of two string trick for a song in the. Ooh, oh, might be Paul Weller himself. Oh. Hello. Okay. Right. Oh, okay, bye. Um, it was just Lee. He said his uh, favourite jam album is Snap. The best of the jam. Anyway. Anyway, so uh, um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, um, my favourite song uh, is In The Crowd. Um, I say my favourite song at the moment because it regularly changes. Yeah. Uh, um, the version-wise, though, I tend to like the one that they play on the tube better with the horns. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought some fantastic versions on that, but perhaps we could talk about that in another yeah, video. Yeah, that's a whole other whole <laughs> episode in itself. Um, what do you think to the cover? Um, I think it's, well, like it's a, supposed to be a bit of a joke, isn't it? Like instead of all mod cons, there's no mod cons going yes. on, it being an empty room. But I, 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 I like some of the outfits. In, interesting for me is the, uh, the pair of Converse high tops that Rick's wearing. Yeah. Because um, I mean, I in my simple brain, I wouldn't have said that was particularly mod. But no, he'd like to boot. Uh, Rick Def definitely liked to boot. I, I was going to draw attention to um, Bruce's jam shoes. The heel on them uh, it seems really high. Um, Were they referred to as a jam shoe before the jam wore them? Not before the jam wore them. <laughs> but the only reason they got the jam shoes because in the back of NME. It would have, you can buy jam shoes. There'd be little adverts to sort of say, yeah, you know, yeah. dress like the jam, why don't you get the, well, get I, the look? I, I prefer the, the back cover, you yeah. know, as a guitarist, showing the Rickenbacker and the, and the bass and the snare drum. Yeah, it's fine. I just think, yeah, I think it looks great. But then we often, it gets overlooked, like the cool stuff that's on the inner, the inner sleeve, which kind of influences a lot of uh, how we have things behind <laughs> us here. Right? Behind <laughs> us now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, we, even in my little mod band, we nick that. 
Mm. You know, and on our single, I nicked that and I got Slade on it and loads of bands. And, you know, yeah, I think countless people have done it since. It's a, but it's a great reference. Um, themes of the songs we, we, we touched on just a second ago. Um, it's all kind of quite gritty. Mm. Uh, um, I, it, it's quite a gritty album, uh, which neat this brings us on to the English Rose song. Yes, which famously isn't on the inner sleeve with the lyrics or on the track listing on the back. And you have a fun fact about it. I have a fun fact that apparently uh, neither the title nor lyrics of English Rose were printed on the original vinyl release of All Mod Cons due to Weller's feeling that the song's lyrics did not mean much without the music behind them. I get that. And I think it sounds plausible, but do you reckon? I reckon that uh, <laughs> someone just forgot to put it on the track list. I think in. they're probably right. I think <laughs> is it, is it, or it was just it, late. Was it Bill Smith who designed the LP cover? Yeah, yeah. I, who knows. But then you also had a thought that, like, at the time, punk music and it was yeah, punk, a love song in that, with the rest, because it is a bit of a change in tone to the rest of the album. Yeah, the, it, the, the whole album is kind of so sort of guitar driven and angry and it's all kind of as Tony Blackburn wouldn't even play down at the tube station on Radio 1 I mean he just like kind of just said it's just so angry and it's all swearing in it and stuff like that <laughs> which is hilarious so I suppose English Rose was very much a departure at the time mm. you know and I think to my little ears when I was like 10 or 12 hearing that it was quite a mature song mm. but it was out of kilter with the rest of the album yeah yeah, I, for, for sure. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we've talked about playing some of the songs. Yeah, we talked about the Mr. Clean already. Any other songs you'd actually like playing on the guitar? Um, I played. I'd, well, we've done down in the tube station. Yeah, in the back. we've done that before. Uh, Fly's a lovely guitar part. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I like playing English Rose. I've played it for a, a, a wedding, a first dance. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all good, aren't they? Abon Wardle Street's a good. Riff. I think this is what I'm trying to allude to there is, is that Weather's probably a better guitarist than most people give him regard for. Oh, definitely. I yeah. mean, you know, it's evident that a bit better musician all round, as across the whole album, it was just the three of them that played yeah. all of it. Any sort of keyboard, piano parts that are in there, Weller did himself. Yes, he did. And otherwise, it's guitars, drums and bass, and that's it. There's no session musicians in there, not like you would get on albums no. now. <laughs> no. You there's know. no Taylor Swift sort of like, you know, like when it says one song and then there's 87 credits to oh, other yeah. people, isn't there? You know, like, which is like the modern way. I think we've probably touched on everything. The running order I love, I think ending with Down in the Tube Station. Just, the A-bomb bleeding into Down in the Tube Station is just, it's just, you know you're hitting home. And, and what I love about these albums is they're about 30 minutes, 35 yeah, minutes, not, and there's a lot of information. Yeah, but crab it into a manageable listening time. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. We've talked about that for a lot. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can do that below. Um, we're going to do a lot more episodes with things. We've got TV yep. things to talk about and all sorts to, to come yeah, up. Yeah, any subject. We'll talk um, music, we'll talk films, we'll talk... TV shows, old and new, um, even video games in books. Yeah, yeah. If there's anything you'd like to hear us talk about, then put it in the comments um, and let us know. Yeah. But thank you for watching. Yeah, so subscribe below. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.